It's half day freaking Thursday. Half day freaking Thursday. Didn't even rain out last night. Thought they were calling for like torrential downpours all night and it's gonna be like super floody and bullshit and build an ark and save the animal. Like look at it out there. It's pretty dry. It's like there it did rain at some point in time, but like I wouldn't really I wouldn't really care. Anyway! <laughs> It's 6.30 in the morning. I want my mother freak food right now. Right now. So I'm gonna make my food right now. Right now. Then I'm gonna drop it in my face and then I'm gonna shit it all over the place cause that's what I do with my food. Yeah. Just like yesterday, I'm making eggs cause eggs are nutritious and delicious and I'm losing my freaking pants. Cause eggs are a part of a balanced breakfast Unless you're trying to balance it on your face All I gotta say is eating in the morning versus eating at night Eating in the morning is a lot freaking easier guys So much easier than eating at night The key, simple reason See, like I mentioned yesterday, at work A lot of people eating a lot of stinky foods Stinky Ugh. So this $5 coffee, kind of gross. And I got another two boxes of it. I wonder if the Colombian's gonna taste any better. Cause this, uh, Tzi de Janeiro Calias, it's pretty freaking gross. Anyway, brekkie's ready. We got some eggs, some snossage, and some ground lean beef. As well as, I cut a piece of cheese. Uh, it's 7.30, I'm gonna go whip up another coffee. Mainly because I want another freaking coffee. Man, I screwed up last night. I have two versions of melatonin. I have the five milligram and the 10 milligram. And I accidentally grabbed, normally I grab two of the five milligrams to make 10 milligrams, just because I'm trying to uh, only take 10 milligrams of melatonin every night to go to bed. However, I screwed up last night. And I grabbed two of the tens and down the hatch, doubling my normal dosage. Now let me tell you, I am feeling the groggies today. That'll learn me. But I do want to say that uh, since I started this eating in the morning and then going all day without food until the next morning, one thing I can tell you right now that worked out well was last night when I went to bed, I wasn't itchy mix scratchy. I was literally go to sleep and have a good night's sleep seven hours solid. So that's pretty good. I just really shouldn't have done the melatonin that hard, but that was my own stupidity. Because both bottles look the same and both pills inside look the same. Dang it. However, it worked really well because yesterday around lunch, everybody was bringing in their stinky foods. I didn't get the urge to eat. I didn't get the hunger. I didn't get nothing. I was literally able to just go about my business, do my job and not feel hungry, which is damn good, because normally I do. The other thing I noticed was yesterday morning, when I woke up, I weighed myself. I didn't put it on camera, but I was clocking in at 217. I told you guys, I fluctuate between 200 and, between 215, 220 throughout the day, depending on what it gets consumed. Sometimes it goes lower, sometimes it goes higher. Today, weighing myself in right now, after eating and everything, I clocked in at 215 pounds. That's after ingesting food. So this is like my starting. As the day goes by, I'm gonna be burning energy, therefore consuming body mass and so on and so forth. So that will go down. So the logic behind the science of having your OMAD in the morning versus at night is very, very, very relevant. Because if I eat at night, I've been able to maintain the same body mass for weeks on end until I decide to do something crazy like a like a fast to break the, basically break the weight barrier. So also I'm not really eating a maintaining uh, caloric quantity. I'm eating a deficit, which is gonna promote weight loss as well. So that's a thing. Theoretically, if I want to eat a maintenance, I'm gonna need to eat about another 800 more calories in my meal. And after eating that 1400 calorie meal, it's probably a little more. Let me go ahead and tell you though. Okay, I was wrong. It was 1,790 calories. <clears throat> it's almost 1,800 calories. I need to eat about 22 to 2,300 calories to uh, maintain body mass. So that's an extra 500 cal. I'm full as full can be right now. I feel stuffed. So I'm good. I, I don't need any more food. Currently, I'm over, obviously, because I ingested all that food. But I can burn that off and then burn off more. No big deal. What I need to do is get rid of these damn groggies. All right, guys, it's time to get off to work. It's half day freaking Thursday. So let's go put in our big old 180 minutes. 
I installed the other Google Home in the bedroom and when I just told it to turn off the uh, the studio, the friggin' uh, one in the bedroom heard me over the one in the studio. So that's pretty funny when you got so many Google Homes. So now we got three minis and one. We have the one in the studio, the one in the kitchen, and the one in the bedroom for the minis. And the home is in the living room. None in the garage because I thought about that and I was like, you know what? That might be kind of rough. Also, uh, clearing out the back area there. I realized the potential issue is, um, I think when my neighbor planted those trees off to the side there, he planted them on my property. I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to take them down because, well, no need to cause any problems. I need to find out where my property ends and his property begins so I know what I'm allowed to take down. Like, I know this tree right here, this can come down. But I have a feeling those other trees back there I shouldn't have touched. But I trimmed them anyway because they're in the way. And I'm just really thankful that on this end of his house, he doesn't have a window. Because let me tell you, sometimes I walk through this kitchen stock ass naked. And he probably doesn't need to see that. I still got the melatonin groggies, guys. It's friggin' brutal. What abs, right? Hey, now it's raining out. Oh man, okay, I gotta turn the camera off till I get to the truck. So today after work, we're gonna head to the bank, deposit that uh, consulting check. Oh, my headband, I need that. By headband, I mean my lanyard. There we go, that's on. All right, let's pitter patter, have at her, get off to work, and then go to the bank. Yay, we're down at the bank. Alrighty, now I'm at Walmart. I wanna go inside and see if I can find stuff to shave puppy with. I have the razors. I just need like combs and things. Let's go. Alrighty, we're home. Frig yet. Lock up the truck and the door, brace with the foot and unlock. Ow! Friggin' door closed on my boot and I got a flat tire. Jesus, that window out there is something else. Anyway, I bought some steak for the weekend. Also bought some hatched in Canada eggs. I think stupid wants back inside. This kit here by Wall, uh, just a comb and a brush for the dog. I also got him one of these non-pull mesh harnesses so that I can take him outside for walks and not choke him out because of his stupid collar. Got another one of these brushes because can't find the other one. Don't know how well it's going to work. Let's try it on the dummy. Is she having a sneezing fit over there? Actually, that brush worked pretty good. And I also bought these, some thinning shears. Just brushed Oreo like crazy. Took a whole bunch of fur off of them. Need to brush them some more, but Jesus, Murphy, that's a lot of fluff. You know what's really hard to do is cut this thing's hair. Now I see why they charge me so much money. You can't keep the damn thing still. He's just always trying to take off and it's like, you grab him, you're like, stay. And like, I'm sitting there and I'm cutting his fur. And he's like putting his tongue in between the scissors. And I'm like, what are you doing, dummy? I didn't cut his tongue. I, you know, didn't close the scissors. I saw what was happening. And I was like, freaking idiot, it's impossible to work with. Worst part is I'm cutting around his arse and I'm sitting, you know, cross-legged on the floor. Got his, I got to hold his tail up because if I let go, he sits. And I'm trying to clean off his ass area because that's where the poop sticks. And that's the main reason why I'm like, I'm going to shave him because no groomer and not enough groomers in this town. They're all backed up. Everybody's got a stupid little lap dog that needs to get a perm every damn week. So I wanted to get that cleaned up so that I could, you know, no more poop sticks to fur. And as I'm working back there, what does the little dickhead do? Farts in my face. Talk about like owner, like dog. So I cleaned him up a little bit. I couldn't film it because I was too busy swearing at him because, like, look at this. I can't even film this damn thing. Would you just stop for five freaking seconds, you spaz? I tried to clean up around his paws, but I can't even show you guys. Like, he's such an idiot. Whatever. That, that was the whole time me working with him. Grabbing him by the ass, pushing him friggin' his face down while I'm working on his ears. Telling him he's a bad dog so his ears go back so I don't cut them off. You know, just doing bullshit like that, trying to work with him. But like, holy crap, and impossible. Even though it's got a little terror on it. Not terrier, a terror. Friggin' Chihuahua. I'm sure this will work fine for Oreo for taking him for walks. Wanna go for a walk? You don't even know what that means. 90% of your life I was too fat to take you for a walk. Except for that one night I got drunk and took you for a walk. Easy to use. Place harness straps over dog's head as shown. Guide overhead. 
Guide your dog's legs. Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta guide his legs. This just got hard. Well, due to the torrential downpour out there right now, there is no way in hell I can be uh, taking Oreo for any walks or anything. But while I was chopping all of his fur off, the Amazon guy showed up. So I ordered dad. Well, dad already knows he's getting this, he just doesn't realize he's not paying for it. For myself, I ordered myself some sleeveless shirts because. I've always wanted some, and cutting the sleeves off t-shirts is, well, it doesn't work. And Dad wanted new Fitbit bands for his Fitbit charge, so he asked for black and gray, so we ordered them up, and he thinks he's paying for it, but that is not the case. And also, my roundup arrived, so that's friggin' sweet. Fragile handle with care. I got two bottles in there for me, two bottles in there for dad, but after inspecting, we'll see after a couple of uh, weeks and months, if anything bounces back, I have a feeling we might have won out there. We, we may have won. Gonna focus, shithead? Thanks. So, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, I ordered that roundup before he even started working on the lawn, and then worked on the lawn, beat the lawn. Now I might not even need it. So I'll just store it in the garage. Well, I might as well plug these clippers back in because they were acting like they wanted to die. I literally spent about an hour chopping the dog's fur. Now what I want to do is I got some garbage upstairs, some garbage down here. I'm just going to go collect it all. Bring it out to the garage. Oh, it's so gross out there. I'm just going to leave you guys up here while I do that. Talk to you in a bit. Hey, that's not too bad. They're like eight bucks, nine bucks each. But, uh... That's pretty comfortable. It's going to be nice in the summer. Maybe then I can uh, have up here match up here. All right, well, I just went for a nap because, holy crap, I couldn't shake the groggies from that damn melatonin still. That's right, guys. The same uh, all day at work. I'm like, well, all day, all three hours at work. I'm like sitting there and I'm just like yawning and yawning and Big Boss comes over and he's like, holy crap, did you sleep last night? And I'm like, yeah, I got like a solid friggin' seven and a half hours. He's like, why are you so yawning? And I said, oh, I made a mistake last. He goes, oh, what's that? You went to bed too late? I said, no, I went to bed at a decent hour. And he goes, well, what's your mistake? If you're wondering what I'm doing, guys, I'm looking for my shaker cup. because that's going to make a pre-workout. But anyway, I, I, he's like, well, what kind of a mistake did you make? And I told him, I said, well, normally I take some sort of a sleeping aid before I go to bed. Either melatonin or I take, ah, oh, there it is. Or I take one of my allergy pills, depending on what's going on. If I'm having an allergic reaction or if I'm just having issues sleeping. He's like, all right. He's like, yeah, I use melatonin too. Yeah, but I took a little bit too much. Explain to him that I had some old melatonin that a lot of people told me was no good, but it was only five milligrams per pill. And then I had this new melatonin that is 10 milligrams. Then I explained how I made the mistake of grabbing two of the tens instead of two of the fives. Down the hatch, slept like a baby, but just couldn't wake up for the life of me. So he bought me a coffee and told me to get after it. Anyway, I'm going to go drive this mud jug into my face. Chug jug gives you energy and shields. No, it doesn't give you shields. And I'm going to drive this in my face. Then we're going to go downstairs. We're at the friggin' hardcore workout. And then I have no idea what's going to go on tonight, guys. The weather outside shit. I got nothing really going on. Stupid weather. Alrighty, got that pre-workout in me. It's time to go downstairs and do some working out. Because let me tell you, today's caloric burn. It's kind of sad. Let's go. Alrighty guys, I put in my workout. Came upstairs, well, went and had a shower. Came upstairs only to realize that I screwed up on the dog's bum. Like I took a lot of fur off, but if you notice back here, there's a lot of shit there that needs to go. So I'm gonna hit him again. All right, I cleaned him up there. Go poop, go poop. Cleaned him up, but he's still a little dicked. I'll have to wait till he comes back inside. And then what I want to do is give him a bath because uh, he's pretty gross. Should give you a bath. No? You don't want a bath? Don't want to smell good? Just want to be a stinky kitty? Eat your damn food? That's all you want to do? Okay. Alright, let's get him back in. Yup, wet Pomeranian. Sit. 
Sit. So, it's not the greatest job. It was easier than bringing him to the dog place. Because yesterday I went in there to make an appointment. Not yesterday. When was that? It was a while ago anyway. Sometime last week. I went in. I was picking something up. Oh, it's when I went to Staples. I went in there to see about getting his summer haircut. And they said they were booked up until pretty much end of July. And I was like, holy shit. Like, that's like two months. What the hell is really going on here? Then when they asked me the dog's name, they pulled up his file and went, for him, we're going to have to charge you 120 And I was like, holy crap. I'm 60 bucks. Why is it so much more? Well, because your dog is really hard to groom. Okay, I get that. Like, he's an idiot. The whole time I was grooming him, I was swearing at him. I'm like, come on, bud, stand up. And he'd sit down, turn around, turn away, put his tongue in between the scissors, like I said. Just being stupid. So I get it. He's a difficult dog to groom. So frig it. I'll do it myself. And he looks like an idiot. He looks like an idiot. You want a cookie? Like, you weren't a good dog or anything. I don't know why I'm giving you a cookie. Obviously, that means the cat needs a cookie, too. See, look at this. Jesus. Obviously, uh, he kind of looks like that guy. Would you get the frig down? Hey. No, no, you're such a bad dog. Stay. No, quit putting on the show. Hey, stay, stay. No, I said stay. Could get it. Saw the cat going for it and he got it all. But it's my cookie, eh? No, she wants cookies. Not fair if one furball gets cookies and the other one doesn't. Simple rule. Otherwise, she'll wait till he's sleeping and beat the living hell out of him. Now, I know a lot of you out there are saying, Adam, you shouldn't have done that. You just ruined your dog's undercoat or whatever the hell. But, you know what? It doesn't matter. My dog, I gotta see him every day. If I don't like a stupid haircut, I'm the one who's gotta deal with it. What the hell am I looking for? Oh yeah, where's that shot glass? By shot glass, I mean that 120 milliliter glass because I want to make a shit my pants concoction. It's around here somewhere. If that doesn't put the plumbing to work, nothing will. We got one quarter of a teaspoon of magnesium oxide. We got baking powder. We got apple cider vinegar and we got aloe vera juice. This is going to be fantastic. Down the flippity hatch. Oh, that's quite the flavor. <clears throat> anyway, stupid's looking stupid. Look at him, he's stupid. And I just made a lullaby tea because it's getting, well, it's seven o'clock, so in about a couple hours, I'm gonna go lay down and pass out. And the whole reason why I took that shit your pants stuff right now is because I'm hoping to shit my pants a couple times before I uh, go to bed. Cause uh, I didn't quite go this morning. I haven't gone since yesterday morning and I did eat all that food. So chances are I gotta shit my pants. Alrighty, well, it's 8.30 at night. Supposed to be a new Trailer Park Boys event starting, but it didn't. Typical. I don't understand why those guys can't get their shit together. Ah, well, whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself one of those uh, other teas, the ones that Joss gave me, the Tulsi's, because uh, they're pretty relaxing too. Not saying I'm not really relaxed, but I wanna try and avoid taking melatonin tonight so that tomorrow when I wake up, I don't feel completely destroyed and this is natural. Not saying melatonin isn't natural, your body does produce it normally, but obviously I took a little bit too much today and holy crap I had a nap. That rhymed. So tomorrow's the last day of my meal prep. I guess Sunday we're going to do more meal prep, prep breakfast for the week. I might do the same thing with the ground beef and the sausage because it's a good macro for keto. See, a lot of people were asking me, what's the difference between a keto diet versus a low carb? Like theoretically, isn't low carb and keto the same? And not really. Low carb is basically low carb. You're low on carbohydrates, but you don't really worry too much about your protein intake and your fat intake. You basically, you could actually do a low carb diet and have high protein. The whole concept behind keto is you want your fat to be 70%, your protein to be 25, and your, your carbs to be five. Where the diet I'm doing, I'm getting 60% fat, 35% protein, 
5% fat or 5% carbs. By doing it this way here, I'm actually following a ketogenic diet on one meal a day, but my calories are in a deficit, so theoretically weight loss should be possible. Now what they say is you will be in a state of ketosis through a low carb diet because your body obviously doesn't have the carbohydrates to burn for energy, so it's gonna switch over to fat. But you'll be in a higher ketosis state if you follow a keto-based diet. So if you're following your keto diet to a T, hitting those macros, you'll be in a higher state of ketosis versus if you did a low carb diet. Now keep in mind, a lot of the fat you're burning is fat you're consuming throughout the day. Remember when I said that one, uh, one gram of fat is equivalent to nine. So if you're taking in, say, 100 grams of fat, that's 900 calories worth of food or of fat that you've consumed. Where protein is classified as four and carbs are classified as four uh, calories. So it all comes down to, are you taking in enough fat for keto? And what that does is it trains your body to actually use fat as a fuel source as it's readily being digested, which is why people on keto can eat all day long and not fast and still lose weight like I used to do. When I first started the diet, I was basically having breakfast, lunch, and supper, and I was still shedding pretty good weight, still going down pretty quick. But I've noticed that intermittent fasting, I'm actually getting better gains. And it's not even in the weight loss. That's kind of tapering off and slowing down. Even if I were to do a five day fast, I'd be lucky if I lost three pounds because I'm getting to a point now where the body's kind of getting to where it wants to be and it's gonna stay there. And I just wanna see what the Omeron reads. And it still put me at 22.4. And I know when I started this, I was sitting at around 32%. So that's a thing. Now, obviously, if I wanted to burn more fat, what I could do is go true low carb, jack the protein, lower the fat intake, and lower the carb intake. So in other words, eat leaner meats like chicken and stuff like that. That's a lot leaner in fat than what I'm eating now that would cause me to lean out because my body's gonna start burning its stored fat instead of burning the fat from the foods. So that's a thing. But I'm actually pretty happy with the way I look and feel now. The only reason why I'm doing one meal a day is because I don't know why, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'm probably gonna rock this for a while and then maybe later on I might break it up and have a couple meals a day, but I'm gonna stick with the whole low carb thing and just see how that plays out. Basically, at 200, like right now I weighed myself when I was down there, and in this full cloth, and I know this is about two pounds of clothing, well, it's 1.4 pounds, I clocked in at 214 pounds on the scale, which is good. Yesterday at this time I clocked in, actually before my workout I clocked in at uh, 216 yesterday, and I'm 214 now. I'm not saying I'm losing two pounds a day, but I'm gonna see some weight loss because of switching it over to breakfast. And the reason being is, like I said, your body's in a high met metabolic state throughout the day because you're up, you're going, you're doing stuff, you're getting things did. So your body's gonna be burning more calories versus when you're sleeping at night, your resting heart rate drops lower, you're not burning as much. But you've just taken in a bunch of food that's now sitting in your digestive system, not being used, being stored. Where if you eat breakfast, then you start doing stuff, your body's using that energy and it's not storing as much. So you should see some sort of a residual gain in weight loss of eating breakfast versus eating supper. At least that's the science I'm trying to prove. I can't really be you know, confident on it after one day. We'll see how it goes after two weeks of doing this. Mind you, on the weekend, I'm probably gonna cock over the program a bit because I bought those steaks and I plan on barbecuing those for supper, not for breakfast. So that's, I'll probably have a light breakfast on Saturday before I go out and help dad doing, I don't know what we're gonna do because I got most of it done. We literally just need a wood chipper to bang out the, uh, the wood. I think we might be downing some trees or something. So that could be fun to watch, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. But tomorrow is Friday. I'm not looking forward to it. It's gonna be brutal. It's been brutal all week. They've been doing some stuff at work, like really pushing and causing a lot of issues because they're trying to get this program deployed to everybody. And it's 
just been a nightmare for us. So tomorrow's a full day on calls and live visits and it's going to be brutal. But luckily it's also Friday. So then we got the weekend to recover. And then next week I'm back on live chats. So sweet deal. Thank you people on that note. Yeah, on that note, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. I know you're probably mad because I call my dog stupid, idiot, and dummy. And had a hard time friggin' cutting his fur today, but it is what it is. Hey, I haven't given up on him yet, right? He's still living here, so that's gotta be something. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think of Oreo's stupid haircut. And until next time, keep on vlogging. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.